Well, Gordon Biersch and 4th Street Live are hosting an event next week benefiting the Parkinson Center of Kentuckiana. Jason Smith and Steve Walsh, they're both here with us this morning to talk more about pints for Parkinson's. I like that name and I like that title. Kind of talk to us about the event and pints for Parkinson's. Well, this is our fifth year doing this, so our fifth annual pints for Parkinson. We do it right in front of Gordon Biersch on 4th Street Live. Mm -hmm. We got two live bands this year. We got Jericho Woods and Whiskey Bent Valley Boys to be playing. Nice. Uh, we'll be doing three dollar pints of our Maybach Spring Seasonal. All proceeds benefit the Parkinson Support Center of Kentuckyana. So there'll be a lot of raffle prizes, um, silent auction, and we're even raffling off a bottle of uh, Peppy Van Winkle. Oh, that popular Peppy Van Winkle. <laughs> <laughs> and Steve, kind of talk about the the Support Center and what you all do, and how important it is for awareness for Parkinson's and people who have to deal with that. Sure. Um, we provide educational exercise and support programs mm -hmm. for Parkinson's patients and their families. It's key to remember not just the patients, but their families as yes. well. Mm -hmm. um, and we're able to do that with events like Pines for Parkinson's, our big gala coming up on June 7th, down in Denim and Diamonds, and other fundraising activities we have throughout the year. Uh, in fact, the Pints will have a uh, demonstration of the rock steady boxing program and uh, you'd be amazed at what some of our people can do well and that's one thing that these kind of events bring up with the awareness in that moving and boxing things like that actually help those who who suffer from parkinson's you know such as as yourself that that's right. very helpful i mean exercise regardless of parkinson's mm. but exercise for anybody helps and is specifically for Parkinson's and certain types of exercise like boxing and cycling have proven to be very effective and uh, until such time as there's a cure the best mm. thing we can do is try to slow down the progression and exercise is a big key to slowing it down. And personally you've noticed a difference as you've started oh, to sure. box it. I was, uh, I was diagnosed almost five years ago mm -hmm. And I've been boxing first up in Michigan. And when we moved back to Kentucky a year and a half ago, I found the Parkinson Support Center and continued down here as well. Mm -hmm. We've got a uh, rock steady boxing program that we offer through the center. And we have several local gyms like Core Fitness, mm -hmm. Full Moon, Anytime Fitness that offer great programs as well. Wonderful. And you know, Jason, it's these kinds of events that bring those kind of partnerships together. Oh, absolutely. I, I always call it the seven degrees of separation of Parkinson. It's mm -hmm. these types of events. You always talk to people and then their brother, their mother, mm -hmm. their uncle, they're a friend of a friend of a friend. And this connects everybody together in a good social environment and puts them together and starts getting that awareness out and getting them talking about it. Um, and having some fun and learning about great programs such as Rock Steady Boxing mm -hmm. um, and also the Parkinson Support Center. Wonderful. So. All right, well, let's give these details one more time so this can continue. The fifth annual Pines for Parkinson is Wednesday, April 17th at Gordon Biersch, as you heard, on 4th Street Live. It's going to be a good time. The free event starts at 5 o'clock and features $3 pints, a concert, and a silent auction. And proceeds will benefit the Parkinson Support Center of Kentucky. Anna, you heard Steve talking about that. And several 4th Street restaurants will also donate 10% of their dinner sales.